Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add a iRig to our human meta rig in Blender. Now this is based on one of my previous tutorials that I did. I showed you how to do a download one of my characters and then enable the meta rig system and then add a meta rig to the character and we parented it to the character and everything. But somebody actually asked me because um, they saw one of my iRigging tutorials, which is this one over here, how to make an iRig. And they said, well, what if I wanted to add that iRig to a human meta rig that I already created? So what I'm gonna do now is show you how to do that. So if you haven't watched those other tutorials yet, I'm gonna put a link to them in the description below because I'm not actually gonna be setting up the human meta rig here. I'm just gonna show you how to add the iRig that I make to the human meta rig. So go ahead, check the description below. There'll be a link to those two tutorials. You can check them out. I would definitely recommend at least checking out the human meta rig one. So um, without wasting any more time, I'm gonna just show you how we set up this um, system here where we can just have this one easy controller that our eyes are looking at. Okay, so here we have the character from my previous tutorial and the rig that we um, generated and added to our character. And with this in front of me, what I'm gonna do is select this meta rig here. And we're gonna go over into our edit mode. Then we're gonna come down here and click on the object data properties. And we're gonna come over here, we're gonna make sure under the skeleton that we drop this open and we can see all the layers here. And we're also gonna come down to viewport display and we're just gonna make sure we enable in front so we can actually see all of the bones here. Now all of these bones that you see here are all of these ones, these um, little blue tabs here that are active, are all the bones that are our controllers and things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit A to select all of them and we're gonna hit H to hide them. And also just quickly enable my screencast keys for you guys. Okay, so now we've hidden them, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold in shift and we're gonna click on this bottom right um, tab here. And that's gonna add in all of our bones. Now these are the bones that are being driven by these um, controller bones that we just hit. And this is the bones that we want to parent the new bones to that we're going to be adding. In this case, it's going to be the head bone that we're going to be parenting the eye, the eye bones to. But what I'm going to quickly do is just add in some eyes to this character. So I'm going to go over here into my object mode quickly again. And we're going to just select this character. And with this original one that I made, I just had these eyes in. So I'm just going to tab in here and just select this vertice, holding shift, select this vertice. I'm going to go control L. It's just going to select all of that. And I'm going to go X and I'm just going to delete it. Then I'm going to tab out of um, edit mode. I'm just going to quickly add in a UV sphere. So I'm going to go shift A. I'm going to go down to my UV sphere, add it in, and I'm going to go S just to scale it down and then G and just move it up here. And I'm just making it smaller, scaling it down, hitting G, just moving it over here, placing it roughly in the middle. We go to my right orthographic view, go into wireframe, and I'm just going to go G, Y, and just move it forward. And I'm going to go RX90 and I'm going to hit enter to rotate it. And I'm just creating a quick eye here. And this is not a very accurate eye, it's just a sphere, but I'm just keeping it simple. With that sphere selected, I'm going to go to object and enable shades move. And then what we're going to do, once you're happy with where you've placed it, we're going to go to our materials here quickly. We're going to hit new. And we're just going to go down to the viewport display, make sure it is white. Then we're going to go here, hit plus one more time, go new. Just go down to the viewport display. I'm just gonna make this blue or something like that. Tab into edit mode. Click on this vertice here and I go, I'm gonna go control plus two times just to grow the selection. And I'm gonna assign that second material. And because we made it blue in the viewport display, we can see it as blue. Now what we're gonna do is go control minus just to shrink it one more time. We're gonna go plus, new and assign. Just go down to the viewport display and make this color black. The reason I'm doing this is simply just so when we rotate this eye eventually, we can actually see in our viewport what is happening. It's just gonna look a little bit better. With that eye selected, we're gonna quickly go to our modifiers tab and just quickly add in a mirror modifier. Click on a little eyedropper, select a character here. Then we're gonna go apply. Then I'm gonna quickly tab into edit mode. Hit A to select all of this geometry and I'm gonna go P and I'm gonna separate by loose parts. Tab out of edit mode, then grab this eye, holding and shift, select this eye. Hit F3, and then we're gonna search um, set origin. And we're gonna click on set origin, and we're gonna set origin to geometry. And now both of them have their origin points in the middle. Okay, so now we have these quick little eyes to demonstrate with. Let's select our rig, go back into edit mode, and let's add in some very simple bones here. So what we're gonna do is select this head bone here. We're gonna go shift S, and we're gonna go um, cursor to selected. That's just going to place our cursor there. 
Then we're gonna go Shift A, and that's gonna add in a new bone to our scene here. So I just Shift A. And I'm gonna go into my right orthographic view. I'm gonna go G, and I'm gonna go um, Y and just move it forward and S to scale it down as well. So just scaling it down and just placing it roughly here in front of the eyes, but, and it should be perfectly in the middle because this head bone is, and that's where we, where we place that um, 3D cursor. So with this guy selected, selected, and then we're gonna go over here, click on this little bone down here, make sure to name, naming is extremely important. So we're gonna call this main eye look at, because that's where our eyes are gonna be looking and hit enter. So that's what we're gonna name this one. So that's the main eye look at. Go to your front view, and then we're gonna go shift DX, we're gonna move this guy over here. And if that guy selected this new bone, we're gonna go RX90 and hit enter. That's gonna rotate it 90 degrees on the X. Should be pointing this way. And we're just gonna go S to scale it down a bit. And then we're gonna go G and just move it over here to where our eye is and it can help to go into wireframe. And we're just gonna come here and place this guy here so it is sitting in the middle of the eye here. But an easy way to do it, if you don't wanna just eye it, so to speak, no pun intended. What we can do is just quickly tab into object mode, select this eye over here, and we can go shift A and we can go cursor to selected. That's now placing our cursor perfectly in the center of this eye, because we set our origin point there. Then we're gonna select the rig. We're gonna quickly go back into our edit mode. And with this guy selected, we're gonna go shift S and we're gonna go um, selection to cursor. And now it's placing that bone perfectly in the middle of our eye. And there's a little trip, uh, trick for you guys as well you can remember, very handy. With that done, we're gonna name this guy. So we're gonna go to the, click on this bone down here, and we're gonna call this guy um, I look at dot capital L. And I can't stress enough how important it is um, to name this properly, so just make sure that you have a dot capital L on the end, that's very important. Because what we're gonna do now is go to armature and we're gonna hit symmetrize. And now it's gonna create ex a bone exactly on the other side, it's perfectly mirrored. And by default, it's gonna rename it with the extension dot R and that's really important. Once we've done that, we're gonna grab this guy here, the, the one on the right, or the left of the character, I should say. And we're gonna go shift D, Y, and we're gonna move it forward a little bit to about here. And what we're gonna do is call this one, um, I look at dot L, and hit enter. And what I just actually remembered is that this one here should actually just be called I dot L, because this one is actually gonna be the lookout. So just quickly rename this one I dot L, and this one should be the I look at dot L, so that's not a big deal. And just select this one over here, and just call it I dot R. So just not a big deal, just quickly correct that. So it's just I dot R, I dot L, and then this guy here is the lookout. So that's I look at dot L. And then we're gonna come here to armature and we're gonna go symmetrize. And what we can also do is enable the X mirror here. So if we edit this guy now, because they have those extensions, if I go G, Y, selecting that knob and bring it in to make it a bit smaller, it's gonna happen on the other side as well. And the same thing with this. If I grab this tip here and I go G, Y, it'll um, do the same thing on the other side because we have X mirror enabled and they have those extensions on the end. So what we're gonna quickly do is some parenting. So I'm gonna select this guy here, holding in shift, select this guy, and then holding in shift still, we're gonna select this main look at. I'm gonna go control P and I'm gonna go make parent keep offset. Then what I'm gonna do is select this guy, holding in shift, select this guy, and this guy over here, just these three bones. And still holding in shift, we're gonna select the head bone here. I'm gonna go control P and we're gonna go uh, make parent keep offset. And then what we're gonna quickly do is just select this guy over here and go over to the bones tab and under the deform, we just wanna untick that. Do the same with this one as well. And all of the other bones we added in, just untick the form because they're not gonna be, um, there's not gonna be any weights applied to any sort of mesh. So it's just gonna be direct parent. So once we've done that, all we simply have to do now is just quickly go into our object mode Select the first eye we made here, and holding in shift, we're gonna select the rig, go to our object mode, just go into pose mode, and then click on this um, I.L, and we're gonna go control P, and we're gonna go set parent to bone. And let's just go click go back into object mode, select the other eye over here, holding in shift, select the rig, 
And then we're going to go um, object mode and we're going to go into pose mode. Click on this I.R dot R here and we're going to go control P and we're going to set parent to bone. So now if we um, grab this main look out here and we move it, we can say we can go G just to move it. OK, wait, we just have to add some quick constraints here. So all we're going to do is select this guy here. Holding in shift, we're going to select this one here. OK, and then we're going to go control shift and C and we're going to go track two. So now this one is going to look at this one here. And let's just do the same on the other side. So grab this guy here, holding in shift, select the I dot R, control shift C, and we're going to go track two as well. Now, if we grab this main eye controller here and we go G, we're going to see that those eyes are looking here. And you can also grab one of these individually and hit G and move it around if you wanted to individually move the eyes. You could even do something like this and then mess around with this main one here. So it's very useful. So I'm just going to undo that. So yeah, what we can do now is just simply select this bone here, holding and shift select this one, this one, and this one. And then we're going to hit M and we're going to move it to this tab down here. So click on this bottom right one, right? And this one we're going to take and we're going to go hit M and we're going to move it just to any one of these um, controller layers. So I'm just going to pick this one right here and click on it. Now what we're going to do is go um, over here to this little guy, just click on it. We're going to go up to our skeleton and holding in shift, we're going to um, hide this layer here, which is our original bones. And then we're going to go Alt H and we're going to unhide all of our controllers. Okay, or we can just do that in our edit mode. So in edit mode, we can just go Alt H and unhide all of these controllers and we've already gotten um, or hidden it, I should say. So here we have this um, controller bar now with all of our other controllers. So we can go back into our pose mode. And now we can not only control the head over here, but we can grab this new controller we have here and also control the eyes, which is really useful. So just one simple bone that we can use as a look at and it'll still work with everything else. So I hope you guys have found this little tutorial useful. I know it's probably a little bit advanced, but it's definitely not beginner friendly. So if you're really, really new to Blender, this might be a bit overwhelming, but I still hope it was able to help some of you. I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.